How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today I got to tell you about my experience at a Jordan B. Peterson event. Now, as you can see, I did not get lynched. I'm perfectly fine sitting here in front of you, uh, talking and smiling. Nobody was outside of our hotel room with a cross, burning it KKK style. No racial incidents happened at the event. It was nothing but a love fest, as my man Dave Rubin would say. I spoke about this on my podcast, which is on Patreon exclusively. If you want that podcast, I link to it in the box below. But I felt like this deserved its own video because it was an experience that, in my opinion, you don't really have too often. It was most certainly a night to remember. And I also want to dispel any kind of myths and rumors that are out there about Jordan B. Peterson and also Dave Rubin, who was also there. Now, this was in Nashville, right in downtown at the historic Ryman. I'll place a picture of that on the screen before you. It's not the best picture, but forgive me. I do not have this fancy smancy phone. I have a blue phone, but that's a different story. And I digress. Lovely auditorium, lovely people. Everybody was super nice. I think even Dave Rubin commented on that. Maybe on his Twitter. He definitely said it when he was there at the actual place. That's one thing I noticed about Tennessee living here in Chattanooga is that everybody you meet for the most part is just super nice. Just very good people down south. Southern hospitality is most certainly 100% in effect here. And it was also in Nashville. Now, it was a lot happening in downtown. You have the historic Ryman where the event was happening. You also had a lot of different things that were surrounding the actual place. You have the arena where the NHL team Predators play. You have the Grand Ole Opry. You have the Country Music Hall of Fame. You also have across the river the Tennessee Titans Stadium. So there was a lot going on in this particular location. As far as the actual event, it was fantastic. Ruben, Dave Ruben came out and he was kind of the opener. He warm the crowd up he does stand up i'm not quite sure if he was doing stand up here or not but i guess he was in a way he was just warming the crowd up and i think he did a fantastic job of doing that jordan b peterson comes out he speaks about a variety of uh social issues um he was really kind of getting deep into philosophy which is why we went to the actual place is to see him speak about certain things face to face one thing Ruben said, which kind of stood in my mind at the actual event, is that usually when people are watching Jordan B. Peterson's videos and also to a certain extent Dave Rubin's videos, you do it alone. Or it's a solitary experience, even if you're not by yourself. You know, you may be at work surrounded by people, but you have on your headphones, so you're not disturbing anybody. Either way it goes, it's just you listening to it. You're not hearing it alongside somebody else. In the same way, if you're at home or whatever, it's usually a solitary experience. But being able to be in a crowd full of people that all are, I don't want to say the same, but are like minded. It was a great experience. Uh, it was packed from Ritter to the Tudor and the Ryman. And to get back to the actual event and what was being said, um, Peterson brought up an article. I did a video on a little while ago on his channel. And the title of the article was something along the lines of why can't we hate men? He broke down the article on stage as he was reading it. He just gave his point by point, uh, play by play analysis of it. He did a fantastic job. As I said in the other video, one thing he derived from the article was that this person who says, why can't we hate men? Basically trying to make excuses as to why you're able to hate men in general. One thing that she was doing was lumping all men into a group and then trying to assign some kind of a blanket blame and then retaliatory response, which is the same thing that was done during Nazi Germany, during Russian communism, same thing with China, same thing with Cambodia, et cetera, et cetera, so on and so forth. So that's how it's very dangerous. But aside from that, uh, it was a good talk. They ended the actual talk with a Q&A from the crowd. It was some kind of app you could download and send messages that way. You couldn't just, you know, yell out in the crowd. Oh, one thing I want to say about the event 
there was zero tolerance policy on protesting and there were no protesters there. Nobody screaming. You're a Nazi. This, that, and the third. Nobody um, jiggling jars of coins or anything like that at Ruben, like what happened at a different place. It was all good. It was all love. Now, I saw somebody on Twitter talk about, oh, why are these events mostly white? This, that, and the third. I mean, ask yourself this. How many people that look like me are interested in psychology professors? I mean, you tell me, how many people are you going to go see on the street that look like me that are interested in going to pay to see a psychology professor? We're just not really that interested in that kind of stuff for the most part. It is what it is. It isn't, it's not necessarily a good or a bad thing. It just is what it is. Okay, and then beyond that, you're talking about Nashville and the surrounding area. Tennessee is majority white anyway. So what do you expect? It was majority white in there, but I did not feel uncomfortable. I did see a few so-called non-white faces in there. Matter of fact, you know, you had the two of us. We're there. We are black. And then it was a guy that was in front of me who was black. I didn't really scan the audience looking for black faces. But the point is, um, yes, it was majority white, but I did not feel uncomfortable. I will feel much more comfortable at a Hillary Clinton rally than I would at a Jordan B. Peterson event or a Trump rally or something like that, regardless of what the racial makeup is. That's totally irrelevant. The point is, are there people there that have similar mindsets to you? Are they like-minded people? I feel much more at home with like-minded individuals than I do around those who aren't. I was able to talk to a few people that were there Everybody was nice. We were just having common experiences and sharing our experiences with each other. That really felt good. Hopefully he comes back to Tennessee. Uh, Ruben is talking about coming to Nashville again. I forget who he said he went to bring. It wasn't Jordan B. Peterson, but it was somebody else. Not that he didn't want to come back with Jordan, but he was just saying maybe he was able to do a thing where he's a headliner and then have somebody else play the role that he played for Jordan B. Peterson. That'd be great. I'd love to go see him. I would love to even be like on a panel show in Tennessee with Ruben moderating. That'd just be great. Overall, my experience, I give it an A+. Uh, if you are kind of afraid to go because it's going to be all these white people or you're afraid to go because you're going to be judged and all of that. Nah, go enjoy yourself. Don't be afraid. And matter of fact, as I close, I want to say this. Jordan P. Peterson is a funny guy. He was kind of cracking a few jokes, but like I would say unintentionally. So he's one of these guys that has dry humor. He's not really trying to be a clown or anything on stage. He's not trying to be a clown on stage. But what I was always told when you're talking about comedy is that the best comedy comes from reality, comes from real life. And he was able to bring that to the table. Him and Ruben. Ruben, I think, is more of a stand-up comedian. He may he may want to go down that route eventually, but Jordan B. Peterson is more of a pure facts, figures, that kind of guy. And the way he says things in a matter-of-fact way can be funny, even if he doesn't intend it to be. So you'll have a good time if you are thinking about going and you're kind of on the fence, go ahead and go. Enjoy yourself. Um, it's best to go in a conservative place so you won't have any kind of weird distractions from protesters or whatever who come there to disrupt. Uh, before we went to the actual event, there were some protesters at a different place, and I thought they were there for Ruben and Peterson, but they were not. I would even go as far as to say that some of the so-called protesters in conservative places won't even mind a person like Jordan B. Peterson because even the liberal people in a conservative place have some kind of common sense. I'm not saying they're 100 percent correct all the time, nor am I saying they're right uh, most of the time. But I feel like in a conservative place, you're going to find more people that have common sense who you may not agree with 100 percent of the time than you would in a place like, I don't know, Bay Area, California or somewhere like that. So that's pretty much all I got to say. Overall, we had a great time there. It was most certainly a night to remember. We're going to come back. Um, he was in Atlanta the next day, which is only about 90 minutes away from me. That would have been great to go to, but I was 
glad I was able to go to Nashville and experience their downtown, all the sights, all the sounds. Uh, definitely go if you can, I don't know, fly, drive or whatever to the next destination that a person you want to see is going to do it. Pull the trigger. You know, you only live once. I don't want to be cliche, but that's just the reality of it. My experience was great. Like I said, from the beginning, nobody lynched me. Nobody had any kind of racial uh, negative things to say about me. There was nothing mentioned about race in the crowd. Everybody there were just like brothers and sisters listening to a good speaker speak. So whatever your comments are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.